Hey, you guys. Good morning. Let me tell you a quick story that happened to me. I always like to bring to you guys the truth so that you can understand that these things are really happening, that these are not just some TV actors, okay? So I went to a gathering yesterday in honor of my daughter's birthday, in honor of her cousin's birthday because their birthdays are on the same day. So we went to their home in order to celebrate, okay? Um, her cousin is not my cousin, it's her cousin on her side of the family. Um, you know, she's she's older, so she's turning, I believe she's turning 40 years old. But we still was like, oh, let's just do the birthdays together. Well, it wasn't my idea, it was my daughter's father's idea. And I was like, okay, I'll go. But, you know, me, I don't like going places because of the targeting situations. I feel uncomfortable going into other people's environment. But I go because I have kids that I have to support that I can't allow my environment to control our atmosphere or our future so we goes over here you guys and then um there's always one of them that always go oh let me grab my purse because i want nobody messing with my purse every time i come around that's like the third time you did that so i already know you're insinuating whatever you done heard but that don't bother me because you still come to my face and kiki i don't go to them and be like hey girl come here you come in my environment sit down hug me and do all this that fake stuff i don't do that to them when i come in i speak i say hi because that's out of respect i said you don't have to like me i don't have to like you but i have to respect you so i'm walking to your home i speak okay but i will go well on the other side of the room and sit down and um, conversate from a distance but they come sit around me and talk and be so engaged and asking questions you know and doing you know and I'll be like okay but you gotta hide your purse I would not engage in no conversation with nobody that I feel that was still for me that would cause harm to me or my family I was just keep it short how you doing out of respect and leave you alone but no okay long story short that's not even a topic of this conversation you guys so we get there everybody's cool um my daughter's grandmother had a conversation with one of the ladies that lived there the owner of the home and she told her that she wasn't vaccinated um so that led to an up row where <laughs> we was not welcome in the home <laughs> okay they was mad upset and said whoever's not jabbed that's so disrespectful to come in somebody's home when you're not jabbed okay because we got underlining conditions and we are all jabbed okay and i was just like oh my goodness they didn't say this to us personally they waited until we left the facility the home and then sent out a massive text message but the text message led to a conversation because we wanted to call and get clarification like is this what we're reading what's going on so my daughter's father calls and goes off 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 across the boards, right? So I'm bringing this to your attention to see how people act because in my opinion, if you got jabbed, you should be more safe in your environment than anyone who isn't jabbed. And the reason why I am saying this is because when they told you to get jabbed, they told you this was going to protect you. So I am the unprotected because I don't have the jab. And when you, and they said, well, and then when I said, why you don't get the jab? You got the measles jab. The measles jab protected me against the measles. Your jab don't protect you against the C-19. Not as of yet. Not to say that it won't in the near future, but as of now, it is not protecting you or anybody else because now they're telling you you got to get another one. This is my, you might as well get the flu um shot because that's what it's turning into. It's, it's against the vaccination, turning into like a flu um shot. You got to constantly, continuously get it in order for it to do anything. So, how does that make you feel? You get what I'm trying to say? So, I'm telling them like, you should be mad at the people that gave you the jab because you can't be around anybody and that goes to show you that your jab was the waste of time and it's risk scare and you're not worried about that that should be more of your concern not me not having it you should be talking to me and saying wow you didn't get it why can you help educate me because i got it and they're still saying i can get sick and they're still saying it's not doing what it's going to do but i got it and i feel slow my problem is there's a lot of educated people in this room that has career driven mindset started already in their career and I was looking up to them but it turned me away like wow but then I did pray for discernment I said God please show me who was against me and he keeps showing me even though it hurts 
right? It's going to hurt. That's the moral of the story. But yeah, God, I want to try to tell y'all what happened to me. Y'all wouldn't believe it. I was just like, what? What is going on? Like, we're not welcome around you or your home anymore. Even my kids, my kids and my son was respectable. He wears his mask wherever he go into your home or not. I normally do, but I wasn't in my car, so I didn't have my mask, right? So I was just like disappointed. Like, my kids are not welcome around you or your family anymore because we don't have the jab. This line has been drawn against the sand, y'all. And I feel the number one like the enemy has won us because he was smarter than us. He knows how to take all of his enemies to break them down into little enemies so they can go against each other because his powers in numbers. So when we are divided, conquer. They conquered us. So now you have people that are claiming to be people of God against each other over a jab. So the enemy is winning and winning and winning. We got to wake up and do better, y'all. But Pray for me and my family because this just happened yesterday. Um, we have people, grandmothers, great-grandmas, they won't talk to us anymore over a jab. And it's just sad because it's hurtful because you're willing to throw away your family over a decision that they made. True story.